Hello friends, fatigue analysis of concrete pavements is done for bottom up cracking and top down cracking. Today our discussion is on how to calculate traffic for these two conditions for bottom up cracking and top down cracking. The traffic survey which we conduct in the field, it provides you axle load spectrum on the highway. So how to, cal how to calculate the design traffic for these two conditions, bottom up cracking and top down cracking. Now this bottom up cracking is prominent or important during daytime and top down cracking is important during night time. And therefore we should make estimate of daytime traffic and nighttime traffic. Fragile stress in a concrete slab is maximum when the wheel is tangential to the longitudinal edge of the slab. This, in this position, the fragile stress at the edge of the slab is maximum. But as you know, the placement of vehicles is random across the width of the road and therefore very low proportion of traffic really moves when the left wheel of the axle is truly tangential to the longitudinal joint. And what IRC suggests that 25% of total traffic can be considered as the traffic which will be moving tangential to the longitudinal edge. So that is the amount of traffic to be taken for bottom up cracking as well as top down cracking. Top down cracking is critical during night time and it is created when the front axle of a vehicle that is a steering axle and the first rear axle or first axle of the rear axle group lies like this, is placed like this. That means if the size of the slab is 3.5 meter by 4.5 meter, which is generally the case in case of concrete pavement, then in that case, this distance between these two should be less than 4.5 meter. Only those vehicles are critical which have the distance between their steering axle and the first rear axle of the axle group, rear axle group is less than 4.5 meter. And this must be estimated in the field. And if this information is not available, what IRC suggests that you take 50% of total axle falling in this category. So these are two important criteria when you consider the traffic for TDC and DUC. Now let me just take one example how we calculate actual amount of axles, number of axles for these two considerations. Let us say that the two-way traffic on a highway is 6000 commercial vehicles per day on a multi-lane highway. On a multi lane highway, let us say four lane divided road, the total traffic on the road is 6000 commercial vehicles per day, and the ratio of traffic in two directions is 60 40, 60% 60 dominant direction. In the case of two lane road, we consider 25% of this traffic as the design traffic for TDC and DOC. In case of Multi-lane highway, we consider 25% of the traffic in dominant direction. So if 60-40 is the ratio, then you first calculate what is the cumulative number? That is 365 into A into 1 plus R power N minus 1 upon R. The normal equation to calculate the design traffic, A, A is 60% 60 of 6000, that is 3600. That is the rate of growth, let us say 0.075 and design life, let us say 30, 30 years and you calculate what is the value of C. So putting all these values, you get C is 
these are the total number of axles, standard axles on the road in dominant direction of traffic. Now, actual traffic on the road will consist of different axle groups. Some vehicles will be having single axle, some will be having double axle like tandem axles or tridem axles. So, depending upon the composition of traffic, the number of average number of axles are to be estimated per commercial vehicle. If that information is again not available, then you can assume 2.35 is the average number of axles per commercial vehicle. So, multiply this by this value and you get this new value of C as 319287015, the total axles now. Considering average number of axles per commercial vehicle. Now, 25% of this is to be taken for BUC and TDC. 25% of this. So, let us say for BUC, bottom up cracking, you take 25% of C and that is 79,821,754. And we again assume if you if the data is not available for daytime traffic and nighttime traffic, then you should assume how much of these 25 percent will be moving during nighttime and during daytime. This data is also generally available. Commercial vehicles move during night time and therefore night traffic is heavier. So, let us assume again that during night time 60 percent of this traffic will move during night time. 60 percent during night and 40 percent during daytime. Now, for bottom up cracking important is daytime traffic and therefore 40 percent of this will be 40 percent of 79,821,754 will be now 31 million 9828 Excel. Now, this is the total number of axles moving on this road during design period in daytime. But the critical period even during daytime is also when the temperature is maximum and that is taken 10 am to 4 pm, 6 hours. This traffic during daytime is for 12 hours and therefore you further divide this traffic by 2 and therefore the total traffic for BUC will be 964351. Now this is the traffic for your BUC analysis bottom up cracking analysis, this will be the final traffic for which you find the flexural stresses in the concrete slab. Now, similarly for TDC, 25 percent of C is 79,821,754, that was the traffic, 25 percent of total traffic, same is considered for TDC also. Now, the night traffic is 60 percent because I told you that the TDC is critical during night time when the temperature of the top fiber is lower than temperature of the bottom fiber and therefore you take 60 percent of this and this will be 47,893,052 Excel. Again, as I told you here that the during daytime critical period is 10 am to 4 pm. Similarly, during night time, the critical time is from midnight to 6 in the morning, again for 6 hours. So, take half of this. For TDC, 50 percent of this value and that is 23,946,500. And I told you that in the case of TDC, top down cracking, only the 
axles which are spaced like this that the spacing between the steering axle and the first axle of rear axle group is less than 4.5 meter they are to be considered like this this is tandem and you can have a tridom also so if this data is available from excel load survey take that data if it is not available then you take 50 percent of that now let us assume in this example that 55 percent of the axles satisfy this condition and therefore the total traffic for tdc will be 55 percent of this value and that is 13 million 1705 excel now this is the design traffic for top down cracking analysis and that is for bottom up cracking analysis now let us say that front axle load or front steering wheels then rear single axle tandem axle and tridom axle they are distributed in the ratio of 0 0.45, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.15. Now these are not the assumptions. These are values which is coming from the actual field survey. Okay, 45% of the total axles is the front steering wheel. This is not important for your stress analysis. So for bottom up cracking 45 percent of these axles 15 percent of these axles 25 percent of these axles will be put here and you will carry out analysis for rear single axle tandem axle and tridom axle and similarly for top down cracking you can take 45 percent of this value here 15 percent of this value here and so on now these are the axles which are critical for bottom up cracking rear single axle and tandem axle but in case of tdc top down cracking all three are important all three are considered now this is again classified based on axle load groups so from the field the data which you are getting from field survey is like this let us say rear axle from 185 to 195 kilonewton 175 to 185 165 to 175 these are placed in group of or interval of 10 kilonewton and you have let us say percentage of these 18.15%, 15.8%, percent 17.2% and so on. You have the complete table, Excel load group data coming from the field. 18.15% 18 of the total rear axles lie in this group. So take 18.15% of this value, this value. 18.15%. 15% of this value will be 434629 because they are total number of rear axles to be considered for BUC. Out of these 18.15 fall in this category because you will be carrying out analysis based on the wheel load. So wheel load group is there. Similarly 15.8% of this value. 17.82% of this value and so on you continue complete table the final total sum will be equal to this value because this total will be 100 and similarly for top down cracking top down cracking again 18.15% of this traffic 15.8% so you keep on writing all these values here complete this table and similar to that you have the tandem axles you have tandem axle loading also 
which is important for top down cracking and let us say tandem axle tandem axle is important for both top down and bottom up cracking and you have 380 to 400 360 to 380 kilonewton and here also you have some proportion which is coming from the field 11.5 percent now you calculate what is the number for BUC and what is the number for TDC. For tandem axles, you see that table, it is 399. This N was 399088. And for top down cracking, this is 3292647. So take proportion of all these in different load groups and then carry out the analysis. So that is how we calculate traffic for top down cracking and bottom up cracking for carrying out stress analysis of rigid pavements. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write.